This week on KCAT, Emily Barker buzzes her way through the Spelling Bee musical with some of the cast. Reporter Brent Cole is going into detail about the Penny War. Austin is going to give us some information about Winter Formal, and Gabe has some intel from the Football Banquet Awards that happened Monday on Gabe's Game Recap. I'm Reagan Williams, and KCAT News starts right now. The musical was filled with excitement two weeks ago, and Emily Barker talked to some of the cast members to get some behind-the-scenes look on what the cast thought about their work. During November 16th through the 18th, the drama department held the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, which brought lots of fun, laughter, and crowd participation. We had a lot of great audience participation members who came up, and overall, the musical just went very well. Uh, the musical was really fun. We had a lot of crowd participation. My dad was, during parent night, he came up and he sat right next to me, and that was a lot of fun because he couldn't keep a straight face. It was just really fun because we would have a lot of improv moments and we would just um, get to mess around with those. And I know a couple of our numbers broke and we got to um, fill that into the show and it just made it really fun. My favorite part of the musical was probably the audience participation because it was different for every show. I had many people correspond with what I asked them to do or some calling me Honey Badger as Mr. Finnewald did. So I was called up on stage. Uh, it, was a, it was a lot of fun uh, being next to the kids and you're a little nervous because they put so much time in the show that you want to make sure that there's still an excellent performance. Uh, we were asked to spell different words. I was hoping I got an easy word so I could stay on the stage. I got an easy word Mexican the first time so I was able to stay on the stage for the first part of the show and then I got a word the second time called Geofair, I think. I couldn't remember if it started with a J or a G. I kind of ad-libbed a little bit, made fun of one of the characters that was in the show, but I knew the show was about them, so I made sure I got off the stage, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and again, those kids do a wonderful job. I had a lot of fun, like, being a part of it. We had, like, Kruger, Ensley, Canfield, Fenewald all come up, and from what I've heard, they had a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs, and I enjoyed it. So it was another successful fall musical with the cast and crew of the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us for the spring play. Emily Barker, KCAT News. Thanks, Emily. The Penny War happens every year. Reporter Brent Cole is going to give us some information about where we can put our pennies this year. Next week is the start of this year's Penny War, while all four grade levels will compete for NBC points. All 1 and 10 cent increments are positive points, which you'll put in your grade level's box. All 5 cent increments are negative points, which you'll put in other grade level's boxes to try and win. Bryn Cole, KCAT News. Thanks, Bryn. Winter Formula is a dance that everyone enjoys. Austin Fawn and Steel is going to give us some details before the dance this Saturday. Thanks, Reagan. This Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. is the annual Winter Dance, the Snowflake Soiree. Despite being referred to as Winter Formal, students are not required to dress up. Also, even though many girls ask the guys to the dance, it is not a Sadie Hawkins dance. Guys can ask girls, students can go with a group of friends, or even alone. Everyone is welcome to attend. Tickets for the dance may be purchased at $7 a piece from Mrs. Woods or Mrs. Johnson's room, 301 or 303, until the end of the day today. Decorating the commons for the dance will be happening this evening right after school, and any help from students will be appreciated. Austin Fawnenstiel, KCAT News. Thanks, Austin. The football banquet was on Monday, and Gabe is going to be telling us about some of the awards that were given out this week on Gabe's Game Recap. Thanks, Dragon. Football has some postseason rewards. Jaden Price was elected as the AVCTO Division IV League MVP for offense. Then the players who received first team All League honors are Jaden Price, Cole Long, Isaac Comer, Brett Nelson, Drew Ellis, Cole Diffenbaugh, and Matt Byer. Then the players that received second team All League honors are Jaden Price, Drew Ellis, Caleb Clark, Jarrett Plummer, and Brandon Dandren. And then the athletes that received all league honorable mention honors are Cole Cusick, Grayson Benefield, Blake Scott, Jacob Walker, Braden Webb, and Jarrett Plummer. Tonight, the boys and girls basketball teams are in action with Late Night with the Cats. It starts at 6 p.m. and they'll be in the main gym. That's all I have for this week's edition of Gabe's Game Recap. 
Gabe Daniel, KCAT News. Thanks, Gabe. That ends this week of KCAT News. And remember, both girls and boys basketball are balling up their seasons starting Monday at a tournament at Circle. And wrestling is in action this Saturday at campus. We'll see you next week. And as always, thanks for watching KCAT. Three, two, one. And we can't see. Yes, I said I. We, and we can't. It's like we can't wait. See, both boys and girls basketball are balling up their season. Oh my God, my contact just froze. <laughs> Freaking! Are you kidding me? Uh, so dead. And remember, both girls and boys basketball are balling their season up. <laughs> There's a lot of N and B's and everything. Then the players who were given first league all. Ah. <sighs> Thanks, Gabe. That ends this season of KCAP. <laughs>